everybody and welcome to beautiful Shaw Park in downtown Winnipeg. It is a gorgeous day, it's warm, and this is Major Misconduct. I'm the Major Scott Taylor, this is the Misconduct. Kurt Keel back and we're on 360winnipeg.ca. Um, we're in a ballpark, but I want to talk about football to start with. Yeah. Uh, Paul LaPolice fired by the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. What say you? Well, actually, I'm not surprised he got fired. I'm kind of surprised uh, by the timing of the firing. I mean, uh, they had just beaten Hamilton, and they came with an eyelash of beating the BC Lions. I suggest to you right now that had they won that game against the BC Lions, he would still be coaching because you wouldn't fire him immediately after beating the best team in football. But uh, the fact that he didn't get it a little earlier, I think, uh, surprised some people because there was always a hesitation on his part, I thought, to, to maybe change the quarterback and that kind of thing. When things weren't going well, sometimes you had to make a few changes, there was some hesitation there, and obviously not a whole lot of success this year, although in the past, uh, things didn't go so badly. This is the oddest coaching experience I think I have ever witnessed. You get a guy who has been to a Grey Cup, but was 4-14 four and 14 in his first year and is 2-6 and six now. So other than the Grey Cup appearance where his team was 10-8, and eight, and at one point seven and one you, you've got a situation where, where you, you, your coach is basically 6-20. and 20. In the, in the other seasons, and it's just the whole situation around Paul LaPolice was odd. Yeah, and it's all on the timing, and the, I think the oddest thing was that comment made by Joe Mack about uh, Abraham Lincoln and Ulysses S. Grant <laughs> and Robert E. Lee saying you got to test these people out before you know who's good. He'd given them a contract extension. Obviously, yes. he thought he was good. Yeah. He'd been there for two years before. Where did this come from? The guy didn't walk in off the street well, last week that, and coach the not, Bombers. Not only that, but we're going we're to come back, and we're going to talk about the general managing of this team. Oh, that'll and, be And fun. my theory that maybe somebody went to Joe Mack and said, fire him or we fire you. We're going to talk about that in a second. This is Major Misconduct, live from Shaw Park in downtown Winnipeg on 360winnipeg.ca. 